exercise number two is the stop loop. The stop loop is actually the same as the tieback loop. The tieback loop will have mesial inclination about 45 degrees, but the stop loop we have the same size but no inclination to the mesial. Now we will go to exercise number two. We start with the straight piece of wire again. The size is 016 stainless steel round wire. We bend the stop loop. Now we use Jerobach plier. The first step, we bend the wire 90 degrees as seen here. Next, we have to grip the plier about one or one and a half millimeter above from the wire as seen here. You have to bend the wire around the round beak of Jarabax plier, not over the half round beak. This is to avoid stress concentration and breakage of the wire. We bend the wire until we form a stop loop. Now, stop loop is formed. If you don't have experience, you may mark with marker. And then you grip the ash wire with the Jarabax plier. And bend around the round beak until the two legs come into the same horizontal plane. If you put it on the table, it will lie flat as seen here. If we go back to the book and put the wire on top of the example, and you find the size of the ash wire. The size of the loop is almost identical with the example. This is the larger size of the loop and do not attempt to make a loop larger than this size. Exercise number three, the standard expansion loop. All original is Jarabak vertical expansion loop. On page 17, you'll find expansion loops. Exercise number three, the standard expansion loop. This is a very old expansion loop designed by Dr. Jarabak. At that time, he was using 016 green edge line round wire. But today, it's hard to find, so we changed to 016 stainless steel. The loop configuration with a size of two to three millimeter wide the height is approximately 5 to 7 mm and 1.5 turn helix. The first step, we bend 90 degrees as seen here. This is to make the vertical loop. And then we got to mark. This is approximately the height we use. We mark it with Jarabax plier. This probably create the 5 mm height of the loop. And then we reset the plier. We turn the leg like this to form the helix. This is 45 degree down. But we do not go on turning. We have to turn the loop around the smaller beak. We do not turn the wire towards the larger part of the beak. This is to make the helix tight and small. We turn the helix one and a half turn around the smaller beak toward the smaller side of the beak. And then an expansion loop is created. 
and then we finish by bending the distal part of the loop and when we put it on the table, the loop we have the same length of the leg as seen here. Now, we will do it one more time to make it clear. You have to realize that Jarabax plier has two beak, the round beak and the half round beak. And every time you bend, you bend around the round beak. First, we bend 90 degree around the round beak. So you can see now the wire is bent 90 degree. And then we mark approximately in the middle of the plier like this to make the loop a bit shorter than the previous one. Mark. And then we turn the wire to form a helix. We will go down first to the larger side of the half round. As mentioned earlier, we do not go on towards the larger part of the beak. We will go toward the smaller part of the beak. So we have to move the leg across and wind it up toward the smaller side of the round beak. And then we complete the loop by bending the distal end. It will come back to the same horizontal plane. If we put it on the table, it will have the equal length of the leg. And when we lie flat, it will stay just like this. Now, let us compare the first one to the second one. You can see this is approximately the same size or exactly the same size. This showed the accuracy of wire bending. Next, we will show the mandibular arch wire. The loop using in the mandible will be somewhat smaller than the one we use in the top jaw. We start the same thing. We start 90 degree bending around the round beak. And then mark. When we mark, we have to go to the smaller part of the plier to mark. This is larger part, middle part, and the small part. We mark and then we turn the wire to form a helix. We go to the larger side of the beak and then we change to the smaller side of the round beak. And then we finish the wire by completing like this. This is the mandibular arch. This is the expansion loop for the mandibular arch. It can lie flat on the table. Now, we will compare the maxillary loop to the mandibular loop as seen here. The maxillary loop is somewhat larger. Now, what you have seen is the expansion loop. 
This type of vertical loop can also be used for closing the space. That means we have to cross the leg. This will be shown here. This is gyrobak closing loop. First, we bend 90 degrees as seen here. Then we mark about the middle of the plier. Mark. And then we turn the wire to the larger side of the beak. And then we change to the smaller side of the beak. Turn the wire to make a helix. like this. Now the leg is crossed. We turn the wire 180 degrees and finish the loop by bending the distal leg and we can put it flat on the table like this. The space is so little so we squeeze the loop. and ligate it into the bracket. With times, the loop will have chip memory. It will expand and bring the teeth apart, creating space. For the closing loop, we have large space here or extraction space. You put the leg into the slot and pull it apart, cinch, and with time, the loop have chip memory and it will bring the teeth together, like this. This is Jarabax vertical loop, using for expansion, we call it expansion loop. This is to create space. This is also vertical loop. This is Jarabax closing loop. We use it to close the space. Exercise number four, the teardrop loop. Exercise number four, the teardrop loop. We have a chance to use different size of the arch wire from square wire to rectangular wire. And here we will use 1622 rectangular wire for demonstration. As seen on page 18, we will do two teardrop loop at the point 2A and 2B. The plier we use, Jarabak plier. We bend around the round beak, remember, around the round beak. First, we bend 90 degrees around the round beak. We added a little bit more, something like 5 degrees more. And now you can see the wires bend approximately 80 degrees to the miso. And then we mark. Here. And we go on our bending to form a teardrop loop around the round beak until its legs touch together. Next, we reset the plier. We open the leg a little bit. And to see that the leg is equal, then we can bend the wire around the round beak. Minor adjustment can be made. If you put the loop on the table, it will lie flat. Now, 
we bring the wire to the book and you can see that the size of the loop is approximately 6 mm tall which is much better than the one shown in the book. This is the loop that we bend on the point 2A and now we bend another loop at the point 2B. We bend 85 degrees first. Turn the wire 180 degrees. Mark. And turn the wire down. And the leg is touched 